What you do? What I did? Yeah, what you do? I slunk out. You slunk out? Slunk. I slunk out. So you didn't do shit, and you punked out. That's what fuck happened, right? Yeah, I punked out. I punked out. How did that happen? What was I gonna do? The guy, the guy could've killed me. That's how a man call your fucking spaggot. You getting that ass, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You getting that ass, Larry. That's what the fuck you do. Oh, this is funny. It's gonna, gonna be a good interview. Today. You gotta immediately get Sup, guys? Ass, Last night Chris said he'd suck dick for 15 grand. Step into an This is what happens. We're outside of the comedy village. A few of the guys playing a game called How Much Would It Cost You to Suck a Dick? Guys are throwing out big numbers. Three, four, five million dollars. Millions. All of a sudden, Chris comes over. He's like, 15,000. I'll suck on a dick. You said you'd suck dick for money, and I told our friends for that. Uh, I did not say I would suck dick for money. You brought up the entire conversation. I simply had an alternative price that nobody really agreed with. Chris, you offered a blowjob for fifteen thousand dollars. I didn't offer anything. What do you mean you didn't offer anything? You said I'll suck some dick for fifteen k. We're out in the street. You're like I'm fifteen k. I own it. was a joke. I'll suck some dick. It was a joke. Yeah. It, was meant, it was meant to be lighthearted. And you and started fun. dancing. Why were you dancing too? You're like oh yeah, big. They better not f***ing bring this up on the air. He said we give a man a bonus of fifteen thousand. Only fifteen thousand. Yeah, yeah. Are you kidding me, man? That's what he said. This guy here. That's that's the one. Well, his mouth was prepared for that. Yeah. As you can see. <laughs> like a blow up doll. Blow up doll mouth, right? That's called blow up doll mouth, right there. That's f***ing awesome. Yeah. That's a blow up doll mouth. Yeah. yeah. It's ready. Right. That's a blow up. Look. He's a, he's yeah. He's <laughs> blow up doll. That's a blow up doll mouth. And you know what? He, and you know what? And he's he's you know what it is though. He knew he looked just like David Tell, so he figured he threw that blow up doll mouth to ruin David Tell. Chris, you're trying to ruin me. Hey, welcome to the show, JB. Hey, man, this is nice, man. You guys are doing it, man. We are doing it. Yeah. Right, Dave? That's right. <laughs> hey, he's hell, man. It. He's pumped. <laughs> got Dan Aykroyd DJing over there. Dan Aykroyd. Let me tell oh, you something Dan Aykroyd. Aykroyd. What we were discussing okay. about this David Tell looking guy over here. Okay. The other night, he's out. And uh, last night, he's talking to one of our interns, and they're talking about, like, that conversation guys have, how much would it take for you to suck a dick? Uh-huh. And everyone's like, a million dollars, two million dollars. He goes, 15K. 15K is still not a realistic whore price. My brother's an actual prostitute, and he'll do it for 50 bucks in a taco. Here's something to consider. He's got to get his payment up front. Who knows what kind of dirt bags he's going to be dealing with here. That's another thing. See, you got to be careful. You got to get your clientele together. That's what I'm saying, though. But Only if... take references. Don't yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. No, you got to. Don't go on your own. Don't go, on a, on a, don't go on your own trying to find guys. <laughs> <laughs> you take references. You know what I mean? I'm going to put up a Craigslist ad. I am never going out drinking with Chris. Hey, you're listening to the Danny LaBelle Show on Comical Radio. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Hey, what are you buying, a dick? Uh, buying a dick, yeah, C4, that's a dick right there, you see it? Yeah, and it only costs 15 grand out of the machine. Yeah, you guys are ridiculous, you're throwing out all these not millions of dollars for a blowjob. Nobody's ever gonna give you millions of dollars for I a blowjob. I don't want millions of dollars for a blowjob. I don't wanna give a blowjob, Chris. Nobody wants to give a blowjob, but there are certain numbers that people will do it for, and all I'm saying is, where do you get off? Where do you get the balls charging millions of dollars for something that you've never even done before? I'm not charging anyone, this isn't me. 
you're the one charging. You're the one who's like 15 I'm grand. Not, I'm not charging. I didn't put grand. up a Craigslist. And that's another for like 15 grand, Chris. Dude, because 15 grand is an honest price. I'm keeping it real. You try to charge somebody millions of dollars for a blowjob, they're going to call a better business bureau on you and demand a refund. Uh, number one, I am never going to suck a penis, okay? But if I did and I got the 15,000, I would hire a Mexican to work for me for two years, 40 hours a week, full time for minimum wage, and I'd have him send out my tape to comedy clubs all over the country. You know what gets me about this? The fact that Chris doesn't want to overcharge for his blowjob, but he doesn't mind ripping off a Mexican for two years. If you're gonna do it, do it. This man right here is gonna do a blowjob. Damn you. For more episodes, go to riseoftheradioshow.com.